Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to show you my autumn makeup routine. I have a few products that I've been absolutely loving recently and I really wanted to talk to you about. So yeah, let's get started. I am very pale at the moment, have absolutely zero fake tan on and because it's the winter I seem to have gone down a pale shade. <laughs> I swear I've never been this pale in my life, but hey ho, I've managed to find products that work for it so we're okay <laughs> so starting with my base i've been using a mixture of products the first one i use is the charlotte tilbury hollywood filter and i've just been putting this really roughly sort of like underneath my eyes on the top of my cheekbone and a little bit in the high points and just blending that in and i find it just helps give my skin a little bit of a glow um, because it's so pale I just want it to at least look nice and radiant <laughs> and then I've been reaching back for my L'Oreal True Match foundation I went through a phase in sixth form of absolutely being obsessed with this and I think the obsession has come back again <laughs> so I'm in the shade 0.5 N and I can't remember the shade I used to use but this one seems to be really good at the moment so I like to just pump it straight onto my face and then move it around with a sponge. This sponge is slightly damp because um, I washed it the other day and I feel like it works best when it's slightly damp. This is such a good colour match for me at the moment. I love this foundation. And then for concealer, I'm going to use the Rose Ink Concealer in the shade LX10. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this. It's a really good colour for me. It's nice and pale. Um, so I'm not using much of it and again it's a great colour match for me at the moment. Woo it's so nice to be able to not have to fake tan in the winter to match your foundation shade. And I also with most of my foundations have to like really blend them down my neck. Whereas this one I haven't blended at all and it's such a good match. On to my next favourite which is this product. This is Charlotte Tilbury. Hollywood contour wand and I've been wanting to try this out for ages and it has not disappointed so I just put a little stroke through my cheekbones and basically where anywhere where I'd put bronzer normally and then I will just blend it out with a little brush this is just a little real techniques brush and I blend it upwards on my cheekbones and this just really helps give my skin some colour and warmth. I usually don't get on with cream contour or bronzers much but I actually really like this one. It's a really good shade. It's not very orange. Next up I'm going to use a cream blush. This one is from Rose Ink and I will put the shade down below because I can't remember it right now. Um, I swapped out the pan for the shade it was. Um, so this one isn't the right shade on the back <laughs> but it's just such a gorgeous gorgeous shade as you can see and I'm using the brush that came with PR package number two very excited when this parcel arrived because I am such a huge Rosie Huntington Whiteley fan <laughs> it's easy to not put too much on as well which I really like because lots of cream blushes it's very easy to go way too overboard um, but this one is perfect you just really build it up and get the exact amount you want. And then I like to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose and through my eyebrows and the ends. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand for highlight and I think this is probably the best highlight out there. It's just amazing. If you're going to buy anything from Charlotte Tilbury, this should be it. <laughs> it's honestly amazing. It's just got such an amazing glow to it. Lasts all day and it doesn't look super glittery or anything. I'm going to add a tiny bit of Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil underneath my eyes just to set in that concealer. So that is the base I've been going for when I want to wear makeup recently. Now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. So I'm going to start off by filling them in with Benefit Browsings in shade 3 with this little spectrum brush 
which is number A24. And I like to start my brows by brushing them down and then I fill along the top and sort of in the middle. I realise I go through a lot of phases with my eyebrows, like sometimes I'm really into pencils, sometimes like now I'm super into powder, but I am really loving this little routine that I've got at the moment. I think it looks so good at the end. There we go, I've just filled that in and then I'm gonna brush it down again and then brush it back up. And that sort of blends out the powder underneath. I'm gonna finish one brow completely so you can see the difference between my natural brow and my new and improved brow. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a Refi Sculpting Brow Gel and this stuff is my new obsession. It's so, so good. I have such stubborn eyebrows and they do not want to stay in place, but with this stuff, it's honestly just the best. So I just brush it through and then if you screw the lid back on and pop it off, it has this little comb. So I like to go through with the comb and just brush through the brows, brush them up and it separates them perfectly. And then I've been going in with this little flat brush and just cleaning up above the eyebrow with the tiniest bit of concealer. So that's a good before and after of using those brow products. Such a huge difference. For eyes, I'm gonna use this amazing palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Instant Eye Palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever. And I'm gonna start out by just adding this pale shade all across my lid, just with my finger so that it puts a nice amount of product on. And then I'm gonna take colors from this section, which is called Happy Eye Section. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the darkest shade first. I'm using a slightly angled brush and I'm just gonna press that onto the outside corner. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, it's really good. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows aren't always this pigmented, um, but this palette seems really, really good and then I'm gonna blend it in. Then on a clean brush, I'm gonna take the next shade down. And I'm gonna put that in the middle. Then with the beautiful gold shade, I'm gonna put that in the corner of my eye, at the front of my eye. Whoa, such an amazing eyeshadow. And I'm gonna put it Cross the lid a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna take the middle shade, mix with a little bit of the sparkle and just bring that underneath the eye. I'm gonna use the black in the palette just to do a little bit of eyeliner. Nearly finished with the eyes, I'm just gonna use the YSL or Volume Effect Faux Curl Mascara. This stuff is super amazing. It makes your lashes so thick and long and very, very black, which is perfect for a look like this. I'm just gonna go in with that darker eyeshadow color and add that underneath my lashes first before I go in with the mascara down there. Those are the eyes done. I absolutely love this eye look, it's just, one of my faves. And now I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. And then my favorite autumn lipstick shade recently has been this one from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade uh, Super Fabulous. And it's a really nice sort of brownie pink shade. And then with whichever lipstick I do, I like to use a finger and just sort of blur the edges a little bit. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of concealer and just make sure the line is reasonably neat. So there we have it, that is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna move on and sort out my hair quickly. And I'm gonna use my GHD Platinum Hair Styler. Just gonna heat that up. And I actually straightened my hair yesterday, so it shouldn't need too much sectioning off and straightening. I think this is my favorite way to style my short hair at the moment, is just straight. 
I like doing it curled, but I feel like it just so much easier to do it straight and it looks good each time I feel. And I'm going to add a little bit of back combing at the back. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this powder spray from Authentic Beauty Concept. And it's really good at just sort of helping keep the back combing in place and giving it a bit of volume and texture. And I'm also going to add a little bit of their Glow Touch spray. But there we have it, that is the finished autumn makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will link every product down below and try and put all the shade names with them. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.